Welcome back to the swamp. The Florida wildlife guy here, where the sawgrass waves and the eagles fly. I was born here in 1986, January 17. We do have something in common, Ohio Herper 17, obviously. I spent my whole life in the swamp. It's my commitment to find, identify, and catch as many species as possible in that exact order. Being from Florida doesn't really matter. When you arrive here, you will always remember, let's not look for food so close to the water. These waters are laced with the potential of disaster from I'm not even sure how many wild predators, panther, bear, alligators, things that crawl and slither with fangs laced in venom, or a quarter inch long stinger, bees, wasps, scorpions. Before Charles Darwin, we had no clue about natural selection. Each organism was just too different. Thanks to his observations and our appreciation for nature, we are getting even closer to unlocking these mysterious creatures. Florida is quite the place with over 50 types of snakes, but only six of them are venomous with five in the same family. I found several of those species. Even though I've lived here my whole life doesn't mean that I've encountered every species identified. Species don't see boundaries the way we do. There is no line separating Florida from Georgia just like there is no line separating my encounters from you. Species live in specific habitats from the swamps of Florida to the deserts of Arizona. And this species within these different ecosystems rarely survive if they leave their ideal conditions. That my friends is natural selection. I always get excited at the thought of experiencing a new ecosystem so I can find unique species that live within. Snakes are truly amazing, and every so often I'm lucky enough to find a species I haven't encountered. One that exists in my state, but here ecosystems are real boundaries. For this experience, we'll need to hop on the buggies. It doesn't matter if you're from Florida, Georgia, Tennessee. Exotic luck is here with me. I wouldn't be surprised if honey badgers get a rocket ship and go to Mars. Sending lots of love to great outdoors. Finally, we made it. Now I can show you a new species. Well, at least to me. This right here is the Gulf Salt Marsh Snake. Now, there are several different species of salt marsh snakes, and this species is somewhat unique in that it has some of the most stunning colors. Oh wait, black and white, you're saying? Yeah, this is night vision. Unfortunately, in these circumstances, I had to pull out the night vision cameras because, well, it was nighttime, and if I wanted any quality video, I had to use night vision. But of course, I caught a few clips of it without night vision. What a stunning specimen. I mean, it's reminiscent of the yellow rat snake, however, totally different. This species is more golden in color and a more glossy textured skin. Primary difference, of course, being the place it lives, water. Now this species feeds on a little bit different prey items than the yellow rat snake would. Mostly crayfish and aquatic animals. Now these snakes won't be found in central Florida because it's a salt marsh snake and they like salt water. I can't even express the extreme excitement I felt in finding a new species of snake. I've searched all of Florida that I could possibly search and every so often I'm so lucky to find a new species of snake or just reptile, amphibian, or animal for that matter. If y'all can share my excitement by hitting that like button and be sure to subscribe to this channel and hopefully we'll see you in the great outdoors. When I was a child, I remember my father finding a yellow rat snake in our birdhouse. He told me about the circle of life and through time I learned about the balance of our ecosystems. Every day a new adventure, a new creature, shows like the crocodile hunter. It became my goal to catch every species of animal possible. Then YouTube came along and gave me a platform. Now I can share with my subscribers. Thanks for your support. It means a lot to me, the Florida Wildlife Guy.